against us, using violence to force the will of the state onto us peaceful protesters, injuring scores of people and stealing the ballot boxes where people had exercised one of their basic rights, that of self-determination. This is what happened yesterday across Catalonia, the inhumanity and full ugly face of the state's brutality was met by our people with humanity, solidarity, I love. On the side of human dignity, I saw the whole spectrum of our society. Young, old, men, women, middle and working class, grassroots activists, schoolmates, shop owners, people from the local neighborhood and all their children, elected officials, public officials, students, teachers, uh, farmers, and migrants. Even people not registered to vote in Catalonia, coming down to support the self-determination of our people. These ordinary people proved absolutely fearless in the face of threats and acts of violence committed by the Spanish police forces and sanctioned by the state. We proved yesterday that the power lies not in the hands of elite, the politicians or police, but with ordinary people and that people power has changed Spain utterly forever. If at some point you're told that the cause of Catalan people is merely a nationalistic one, that we are acting selfishly against the rest of Spain, please think about what we saw yesterday, about the more than 800 people who were injured peacefully protesting for the right of all of us to live in a world where we determine it ourselves. We see today that the Spanish establishment, the state, but also the media, still blame the Catalan people and their institutions, whilst the EU remains painfully silent in the face of Franco-esque-style bullying tactics of the Spanish government. Yesterday's victory is only the start of what we must organize. Mass mobilizations are needed to hold Spain to account and to uphold our success. Here's where international solidarity is crucial, and that's why your presence here today is so important. Thank you. We have come to confirm the massive victory that yesterday's resistance meant, and a crucial component of this will be a continued pressure on the Spanish state and institutions. We thank you with all of our hearts. We won't soon forget the solidarity of the people of Ireland. and the patience of Ireland could know this. Because there no doubt there were people in 1916 saying they recognised the territorial integrity of the British Empire. If you started from legal constitution, there would be no Irish state, and there would be no American state, and there would be no independence for oppressed people anywhere. So this show their power again on the streets of Barcelona and the streets of Catalonia. We think tomorrow there's going to be a general strike, uh, students and workers together. I hope that general strike is victorious, I hope it's massive, it's strong and it continues. Because it is people power themselves who will override the laws and rules of the Spanish state and the EU and establish the rights for the Catalan people.